quick message before the year's end, which is uh, about 10 days away. Um, looking back on the past year, 2022, uh, was definitely a shift from the pandemic years, at least the way uh, I see it. Um, you know, in the pandemic years, we saw the rapid rise of a lot of new technology and um, a lot of semi-new approaches to clinical trials, but I think approaches that were um, really only just then being applied more broadly. Um, and I think, you know, this year has been a lot more about learning and learning how we can use all the technology. Um, and most importantly, also about um, just having open conversations about what works and what doesn't. For example, I think we've seen sites become a lot more vocal in the past year um, and telling us what they need and uh, that the answer isn't always more uh, technology. Um, and I think that's that's an important element that we need to uh, need to carry forward. So the way I see it, 2022 has been a very important year to set us up for continued success in making trials more inclusive and patient friendly. Um, but that can only come through you know, vendors and sponsors and science and CROs uh, being humble enough to admit what they don't know what they can do. And so making sure that as we uh, deploy these trials together, uh, we're setting them up for success in, in the real world. Um, and then we also make sure that we catalog the lessons learned and then we share those with each other. So I really uh, think that we can May 2023 about um, getting a broader base of support for some of the basic elements that make trials more effective and patient-friendly and inclusive. Um, you know, for example, um, if we the only major change we see in 2023 is that he considers going to be part of more than 50% of new studies, uh, I consider that a win. And I think the only way we can do that is by learning a lot from the past years where a lot of technology has been brought forward and has been implemented and communicating with all the stakeholders throughout the clinical trial process to understand what they need and where they're struggling and where things are going well um, and using that information really to go forward again extend that base of support and that means getting the sites excited getting the study teams excited um, getting all the stakeholders as i said um, excited about the new approaches we're pushing forward. So let's continue to shine the spotlight on both the wins and the failures so we can build on those and really make meaningful progress across the world of clinical trials. For now, I wish you all very happy holidays and um, I will see you next year.